What's up? This is your boy Lucky Loco coming at you with another video. I uh, just want to tap in and say what's up to everybody, man. You know, as I always want to say, man, I appreciate every single one of you, man, and I truly do. I appreciate the day oneers and I appreciate everybody that um, I subscribe to, that I follow, that I watch for the entertainment because um, back in the day, there was this thing called MSN, MSNBC. And they used to go around doing documentaries of um, the prison. Lock Up Raw, I believe the show was called. And I used to watch it, man. There was a lot of interesting stuff. And it used to be, um, first it was, I believe, was just California. Then they started going to other places and other institu institutions. So what caught my eye, I was like, hey, man, I've been locked up. You know, you know, I watch these videos, watch these stories. and it's, um, But it was just like an hour of... A little bit of stories of here and there, their experience of um, reporters going into an institution. So what I did was, um, the reason why I think I watch it so much is because it gives the depths of these people that been there, uh, like Boxer, uh, you know, uh, Jay Hands, all these different people, Convicts Perspective, Rojo, um, you know, APA, all these different channels that I watch that, you know, they all have an interesting story in intake. And it, uh, that's why I appreciate you too, because it gives you a platform, a voice that um, you don't have, we don't, uh, never used to have before social media and all this other stuff. I mean, it depends on how you want to use your platform, how you want to use the situations. Um, but yeah, I watch these stories. Uh, and it trips me out, you know, because it gives you in, be in the behind scenes and the depths of the prison life of Nuestra Familia, the Mexican Mafia, the foot soldiers, the, you know, and then now we even got people that give us insights on the SNY, on the, on the SNY yards. And, you know, it's, you know, it's, um, because you kind of wonder, like, because it'll show like a little tiny glimpse uh, on the lockup bra, they'll be like, "This is the SNY yard, the sensitive needs yard, where you cannot, where they cannot be housed with the mainline inmates." And you know, it, now we got people that give us the insights on that, and it's uh, it's interesting. You know, it's an outlaw community, it's an outlaw mindset that um, you know, and a lot of the stories is uh, interesting. And I hope that some of these stories that these people tell where kids won't have to make these mistakes and go through it. But, you know, as we're all kids, we're all hard-headed. We're all going to have to learn one way or another. Sometimes lessons are too too late to learn. Um, some, you know, unfortunately, a lot of the children, the youth, um, like how we look to these people for stories, these folklores, these legends of the prison yard um everybody wants that that miklo status from blood in blood out they want that um santana from american me status and unfortunately it doesn't pan out like that it, i mean from these horrible stories boxer and all the you know their experiences it doesn't matter all this work you put in this commitment your time away from your kids the time away from your family um you adapt to this new family, to this new place that you have to abide by the rules. Doesn't matter what kind of friendship you have. Doesn't matter what kind of brotherhood you have. You have to fall in line. And what I did, all this stuff you put in, say, you, you're like, hey, I just racked up like three life sentences, but you make one mistake and you're deemed no good. So, I mean, that kind of, you know, just, it's a, it's a tricky, hardcore world nothing's ever easy and i hope the kids do see that and realize you know hard work you, you know at all these different places which you're going to put in this education you want to go get educated you want to go learn to trade um be a teacher all this other stuff and it's just it's um it's crazy so i definitely want to explain why I started watching it because you know there was other shows like hard copy and all this other stuff I remember reading about the black widow status uh black widow uh operation FBI operation while I was in county jail and um 
it was uh, it's in a Maxim magazine, and it's uh, that's where I started reading about it and started hearing about it. Um, and I'll do another story about that because all that leads up to a story of when they got indicted and they came to Colorado. And also what came with them came with a lot of different stuff that Colorado didn't have. And uh, I'll get into that on at a, at a different story. I'll drink a little bit more coffee and talk about it. It's a subject of losing my wife. You know, it's uh, something I don't like to, I don't know. But, you know, anyways, um, yeah, the reason why I start watching these is because it does give the in-depth, you know, on Flacco, Gabriel Morales, uh, who else is on there? Um, then now we got the insights of even COs, CXCOs going on and telling their side of the story because prison is a whole different world. It's a, it's a, no matter how much they explain it to you. I think these kids are going to still want to endure this and you know if they've seen what you have to eat like you know forget scared straight but these kids don't even scared to go in there no more just put them on a, uh, a month <laughs> diet routine of what you have to eat in san quentin or all there because i see the trays man they look horrible their colorado dishes look way better than <laughs> what they were serving out there bro hardcore man Anyway, salute to all the people that I subscribe to. Salute to all the people that subscribe to me. Um, I really appreciate you guys, man. And I'll never stop saying that. I hope.